Like the, like the, ow, fuck. You good? Sorry, I'm playing with a bayonet right now. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Artifactual Podcast. I'll be your co-host, Mark or Mobkins. I'm Adrian. We recorded that really shitty episode over a month ago, and it's been up on YouTube for three weeks. So we're doing this again, because nobody wants it. Hey everybody, it's a quick message from future Mark here. So, quick edit, quickly editing the video, and um, I noticed that Adrian's, my audio on Adrian's side, kind of carried through either his speakers or his headset into his microphone, so you can hear me staticky. Um, however, it's doubled up with my own audio. So you can kind of hear me, and it sounds really stitchy. And I apologize for any uh, annoyance this might cause, but I don't really want to go through and uh, cut out every single part where I speak and he doesn't. So, nonetheless, I hope you enjoy. Well, we, you, you gotta keep up the grind. You, you gotta keep putting stuff out there, man. We, we gotta have some way to document our progress, you know what I'm saying? I document our progress. <laughs> So I no, like, I'm I'm already preparing for our five subscribers special. Are you kidding me? Oh, setup tour. F- face um, face reveal at five subs by the end of the month. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what what have you been up to? Um, I've been a busy bee. Not gonna lie. It's uh, just to tell everybody out there. It's coming up on the end of our summer vacation. <laughs> well, we don't end late. I mean, that's what you get for living in a year. pink Okami state. We don't end late? No, dude. We get out super early. Well, that's. I mean, normally we would end late, but we get out, like, no, super early. That, that's because we're seniors, though. Yeah, like, I know. Everyone else that's is still going to end, like, July 1st. Yeah, for <laughs> everyone else. Like, grades 11 through K. So yeah, everyone else. (laughs) Uh, So, I've been up to a whole lot of nothing. I've I've done some homeworks and uh, played some Overwatch. That's pretty much it. No, no, no. That's that's a a lie. That's a lie. I've been getting back into Skyrim. And (laughs) I've come to terms with... Sky- is that Skyrim on the PC, the Switch, the Xbox, the PS4, or the remastered uh, PC? Version? The 360, believe it or not, because <laughs> there is literally one dollar in my wallet right now. Uh, yep. Yeah, because I spent it all on wallet. food. Oh, okay. I've got... Ooh, I've got 20. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, shit. Got a whole 20. Oh, damn. Gonna take over the world, man. Dude, this damn bourgeoisie... Why the, That's an airplane. Why the fuck does everything <laughs> cost money? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So My summer, I've been pretty busy. Um, intelligent. Traveling a bit. What about intelligent? Is that what you've been busy with? That's what, what I code, code in. <laughs> I've been doing some uh, some some coding projects for my server. I've been been learned, teaching myself Blender. Been teaching myself web design. Oh. And I read a I'm book. Gonna, <laughs> were, were you so shocked at the fact that I read a book that you just did not know what to say? No, I said, woo! <laughs> yeah, but there was like a good three second pause. <laughs> well, it was the kind of thing where it's like, is that relatively a, a celebratory thing or is that like a, eh, I read a book? I, I, I usually leave my summer homework until like the last three days, so yeah. Oh, that's that's pretty good then, yeah. Yeah, I've read I've read two of my books and I'm like halfway Which through the third Which book is it? One. Oh wait, which class are you taking? Uh, I'm taking AP Econ, AP Physics, AP AB Math. Um, what English are you taking? English? Oh, English. Uh, just honor masterpieces. Okay, same. None of that AP English shit, because I got a Dude, I, uh, C plus I would never. Or, I got a C plus in student oh, year. Oh, rip. Well, I was being like a sad boy and did, literally didn't know homework the fourth quarter, so I... Le- legitimately got an F the fourth quarter. When senior itis hits you too early. <laughs> when senior itis hits you midway through junior year. What's really funny, I was watching this one video and this guy was playing uh, Dream Daddy. 
It was like the game. Oh, that was the, that the Game Grumps game? Yeah, it's the game the Game Grumps played or published, and um, they kept using the term senioritis. And the guy that I was watching play the video games like from England and was just so confused on what senioritis was, like he could not understand it. Oh yeah. They don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know if it'll hit me that hard. I just. At this point, I don't know, because, like, I can see myself wanting to keep, keep doing. But, like, I can also see myself just being like, I don't really need to do this. But yeah, I know. I just, I just like, broke fourth quarter. Like, the only class I really tried in was, like, history, because I absolutely, like, if I got dropped from AP Econ, I would have been so pissed. Oh, yeah. It kind of... Econ was one of the classes that was, like... I, I was... I wanted to take it, but then, like, other classes were, like, priority and I didn't want to load myself up too much. And so, Econ, I know some people had trouble with that because, like, they were either, like, super good at math and their history grade, like, wasn't good or they didn't really care about history or vice versa. If you have so, a like, if you have a really good math grade, I think they will still let you go in if you're that's, history. Yeah, yeah, but, good. like, if you... It's weird to have it under a social studies branch going from a social studies class. Well, it is social studies. No, I know. I'm There's just a saying. whole branch like, of econ called social econ. <laughs> My point is, it's so heavily math based. Not that not really. It's just no. logic based. Oh, it's yeah. like I, I haven't done my econ research, so. Oh, are you taking it? I don't know. No, I'm oh, not. Oh, oh. So, so I yeah, I, I haven't read negative. I'm doing um psych, calc, and French, and then self studying for bio. Oh, I got dropped from French. <laughs> Oh, I think you mentioned this, Rip. Oh, Dude, yeah. the story was so dumb. What is it? I thought, I thought it's like this, this like ten page French story in French, and I thought it was gonna be like a meaningful story because like, what's it? it's like from, someone? It's like it's called like some someone's uncle, right? It's called La Perure. It's jewelry. <laughs> so you're very wrong. What? No, I I I have the book. Oh well, the book is the book is a compilation of a bunch of short stories. Yeah, isn't it like the first story you have to read? But, no, it's that it might be the first. I didn't get the book. I got like a printed out packet of it. Oh, but anyway, wow. The story is about some poor woman. Yeah, Mon Uncle Jules. Isn't that the one you have to read? No, that's not it. Well, <laughs> all right then. Oops. <laughs> so the. The story is, like, this poor woman, I, that's, like, um, I, I, not necessarily poor, I guess, but, like, not super rich or whatever. Yeah. So, you Just convinced by, I guess, like, I couldn't, I didn't fully understand if it was, like, she just got married to a rich man or, like, some, her husband wanted to go to a rich party. But anyway, she needs to dress up super fancy for this rich party. And she doesn't have any jewelry, so she goes to ask her rich friend. And... The only jewelry she likes that her rich friend has is a diamond necklace. So she wears the diamond necklace to the party, but then she gets home and she realizes she lost the diamond necklace. And I'm, at this point, I was thinking, like, oh god, this is not going to be a meaningful story, is it? And it then goes on to tell how the woman took out a lot of money in loans, spoiler alert, by the way, a lot of money in loans <laughs> to buy a real diamond necklace to give to her friend. She then worked the next 10 years, like, overworking herself to pay off the money. And when she was kind of, like, done to paying off the loans, she bumped into her old friend. Her old friend was like, wow, you look, like, really overworked. And she's like, yeah, I, you know, to tell you the truth, I lost your necklace. And <laughs> her friend goes, oh, it was fake. <laughs> and I just, like, I felt like I just sat through a super long joke and then someone's like, but there is no punchline. And I was I sat there for like a good five minutes pondering life. The, the, the horse's name was Friday, Mark. It, it, so I just You know that Cheerio joke? Cheerio joke? The, so there's a kingdom of Cheerios, right? And there's the King Cheerio. And if a Cheerio like wants honey nut to Cheerios? It, it doesn't just basic Cheerios are the, the rulers, whatever. And they're all equal Cheerios. And so you're gonna see where this is going based on the context of the situation, but there's this one Cheerio who's a normal Cheerio and he wants to become a high nut Cheerio. So he goes to the king and says, "Hey, I want to be a high nut Cheerio." And the king says, "Okay, I'll accept you." And so he gets in the high nut Cheerio line. But after about a week of being a high nut Cheerio, he says, "You know what? 
I want to be a frosted Cheerio. So he goes to the king and says, I want to be a frosted Cheerio. And the king says, uh, okay, get in line. So the Cheerio gets in the frosted Cheerio line. And then he goes to the king and says, after like a month of being a frosted Cheerio, he's like, I don't like this. He goes to the king and says, I, I, want, I want to be a fruit Cheerio. And the king's like, okay, you can go be a fruit Cheerio. Uh, get in line. So he gets in the fruit line. And in being a fruit Cheerio, he discovers that like fruit punch is also really good. But he doesn't really like the fruit part. So he goes to the king and says, I want to become a punch Cheerio. And the king says, okay, go get in punch line. But there was no punch line. I, the amount of hatred I feel for you right now. <laughs> Dude, making, that joke? The amount of hatred I feel in my heart for you for making me sit through that long ass story is... Adrian, I cut it short for you. There's ten different Cheerio types you can go through. Wow. Dude, it... It's wow. the... Ugh. You, it's, it was that kind of reaction I had when I finished that French story. That that joke was so bad that Netflix is going to have to change their rating system. What? What? Oh, did you not hear about that? I didn't hear the what you, ratings of what. So, so Amy Schumer, she had this uh, comedy special on Netflix. Okay. And the reviews for it were so bad that Netflix had to change how it did reviews. Oh, damn. <laughs> like, roasted! Like, I don't think it even had one star. That's yikes. <laughs> was it one of those, like, comedian live shows things? Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a special. It was, like, a stand-up comedy So, was it, like, act. people laughing and stuff? Like, the people in the audience were, but, like, I think they're paid, right. they're paid to laugh, I bet, so. I don't know. It's, like. Um, in some cases, there might be, but, like, I know, like. Like there, I, I couldn't even, instant... I couldn't even get through the first half hour of it. It was just so bad. It's called the I leather. Watching, um... It's called the leather yeah. special, and legitimately for the entire half hour I watch, she's joking about how her vagina smells like a barnyard animal. Like I, I saw Trainwreck, and I really enjoyed Trainwreck, but was that the one where she like, her the father is like polyg monogamy isn't real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She, she's like a huge whore, but then she finds like a rich guy. So she's like, "All right, right I'll keep right. it. I'll keep this guy." Cause... And I, I thought that was a funny movie, but this was just like mm, I, yeah. I honestly felt nauseous after watching it. <laughs> and it, like, um... no, and then and then she has the audacity to complain that she gets paid less than Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. The the audacity. Oh wow. The joke here is that we're using Audacity to record our local You are, I'm not. What are you using, Mr. Big Boy? I'm using Adobe Audition, bro. Oh, fuck. What? <laughs> BRB, writing that down in the notebook of recording things to cut that out. <laughs> you think I'm joking. <laughs> What minute is this? 1334. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, we are talking about Netflix shows. Netflix shows. I recently <laughs> watched Lilo and Stitch the other day. I hadn't oh. seen it since I was eight, and it's my girlfriend's favorite movie. So I was like, hey, let's watch this, because why not? And the entire... Like, I didn't realize this, but the entire show is basically about, like... A girl with like autism, like, Wait, like show or TV or movie. The, the movie, Lilo and Stitch movie, like, like it, it, at the start of the movie, she's late to her dance class because she was feeding a fish a tuna sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> and she has to, and she says she has to feed the fish every Thursday because the fish controls the weather. And then she gets to her dance class, and all the other girls a, are, are what? What? Already dancing. Yeah, I, I, yes. Lilo and Stitch was a great kids movie. The animation is fantastic. Oh my! It's, it is it's, kind of a wild ride. It's so dated now. Yeah, it's but so it's dated still... now. But it's like, so th these girls make fun of her for feeding a fish like a tuna sandwich because who the fuck <laughs> does that? And then she, <laughs> was and it, it a tuna fish? And it, it was. A, does it matter? Like, if you were a chicken, would you want to eat a pigeon? Well, I'll, I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Would you eat a monkey? No. Dude, Ex I wouldn't eat a dog. Well, 
have fun in Vietnam. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> oh, damn. Didn't realize I was going to Vietnam. Good one. This just got awkward. Good one. Yeah, <laughs> Anyways. So, like, they make fun of her because she's a fucking weirdo, and then she just punches her in the face. And then, like... And then later, she just tries to play dolls with them. And it's like, oh, this is my doll. He's got two weeks left to live. It's like... The, the whole movie is just like... This girl's such a fucking weirdo. Like, you're supposed to feel bad for her. Because, like, oh, yeah, she's got no friends or whatever. But it's like, no shit she's got no friends. <laughs> I mean, come on. It's like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, it's a good movie, though. Anyway, like, it, um, it essentially, Lilo and Stitch, like, is essentially just Frankenstein, but with a happy ending. What? Oh. Uh, yeah, he was, like, <laughs> he was created in a laboratory, and then the scientist is trying to kill him, and then, like, he spends the whole movie trying to find, like, purpose in life, because he's programmed to destroy large cities, but there's no really large cities in Hawaii so he doesn't like have anything to do I mean he spends the whole movie like trying to find a family that will like love him and shit it's it's basically yeah. Frankenstein except at the end he doesn't kill three people yeah, yeah that's true I mean there is tons of destruction caused though yeah but he doesn't kill him I mean he tries to but alright alright <laughs> Um, so sorry, I'm just typing something real quick. What are you typing? Real quick, what real quick? Re what? Regarding Netflix shows. Regarding comedies. Netflix shows, I watched that. Have on you watched? Netflix. Have you watched Bo Burnham? Bo Burnham, yes. That guy's. Funny. That was. What? I said he's funny. Oh yeah. No, I sorry. The last word cut out. I was like, what? Oh. oh no. Oh okay. Do you oh, have any thoughts it, on Bo Burnham? Or are you good? I mean. I, I wanted to mention how he's got he had two specials on Netflix um and so it's gotta say something that, like the cloud the crowd kind of in a sense had to be real like you've gotta have some kind of following to get a Netflix special but like to get a second one there's gotta be something that says it's a has, real crowd he has three I think there's three? yeah what? right? no I think it's just happy and or make happy and what? what? but what? Uh, one of his specials is called what I want, period i just want no I, I know i wanted you i wanted to make you say what like i did say what precisely never mind mark you you are you are the funniest prankster i know holy oh, my I, god I know, I know you should you should go on disney channel and make a show about how good you are at pranking people Disney Channel. <laughs> oh, maybe uh, maybe I can get a get a job there because I just fired what's his name? Jake Paul. Um, everyday guy. Jake Paul. Yeah, that guy. Did you know that England's my city? England, England, England actually is a city in in uh, Arkansas. So the the odds that he meant England, Arkansas, even if that does does that that does not exist. It, no, it's it's a, there's a city in Arkansas called England. England, Arca Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. Well, well, damn, it is. What the hell's Arkansas? No, there, there's this funny video of this person saying like, "America, what is wrong with you? This is Kansas, and why is this not Arkansas?" Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, like, why is it Arkansas? You, Kansas is pronounced Kansas. Have you seen the video where it's this like? It's like this dude asking people at the mall how many stars there are on the American flag. And it's like, well, you got 13 colonies, so you do 13 minus 50, and you don't end up with 47. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I get asked to count stars on flag. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> do you have to do this now? I do. All right. Alright. Amazing. <laughs> Wait, this is a compilation. Or is it some guy interviewing a bunch of people? He was just interviewing a bunch of people, I think, but it was like with one of them. It's like it's like some black lady in a do rag. Uh, 
51. <laughs> am I right? No. Do you... Alright, alright. Do you think that DC should be a state? I I still don't fully understand that. Fully but, understand what? I don't really care. Okay. Because it's like... I don't know. I just keep talking about that with my girlfriend lately. And this is a nice time to transition into that. So... Um, like the argument there is that there are more people living in DC than there are in like Wyoming and also, I wouldn't doubt it and it's also the fact that like they're not technically supposed to have any representation because they don't live in a state they live in a US territory but like uh, it's, the, it's a, the yeah. whole reason that it's like it isn't in a state or is a state is so that that state won't have like special privileges for being the state cities for the country's capital <sighs> yeah it is I don't know it, uh, could you <laughs> could I did what? you hear that should we get political on this podcast probably not I got the. I found the video. One sec. No, it's. You don't have to play the video. No, 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 no. I found the the the, the American flag counting. Oh, okay. So you just want <laughs> want me to sit here and wait for you to watch it? <laughs> All right. It's such a good video. What the hell? <laughs> anyway. So what we got thirteen colonies, so uh thirteen minus fifty is um forty seven. So we need to talk about a video game so we can have an excuse as to why it's the shit in the background of this video. Oh yeah, what video game we put in the background? I don't know, but we have to talk about something. Um so right. Overwatch is fun. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Done. Alright, mention Done. moving on. Alright. <laughs> That, speaking of video games, though, have you ever played Thomas Was Alone? Thomas Was Alone. I have not. Is that another one of your indie games? Uh, it might be. I'm, the joke here is that he only plays indie games. I actually no, I haven't heard of that. Um. Anyway, it's yeah, it's not very well known. I mean, it is. It was made by one guy. Um. And. Pretty much it's this game um, about... So it's like, he didn't have much artistic talent, I guess, or whatever, so he made a game with basic shapes, and like, all there are all these characters, like there's the red square called Thomas that can jump, um, and then there's like an orange square that's really tall, stuff like that, and you like work together to move through the, um, the maps and stuff. Okay. Pretty interesting. Okay. Um, and you... I was thinking of recording it soon because I kind of want to get back into YouTube again, but I don't know. This is us getting into YouTube. But like, kind of an arcade. Like my my personal. Oh. Whatnot. Oh oh what you you think I'm too good for you? Is that what you're saying? No. I mean bro, I mean I'm, you're I'm too good saying. for me. I mean just saying just saying I don't want to brag, but on my channel I have. 13 videos of me playing as Poland in Medieval 2 Total War, right? 
And I think in total, of, out of those 13 videos, there's a total of three views. So, just saying, you, you need me. Yeah, yeah. I, I need you for actual podcast. I need you, man. I need you. Get my eyes and ears. Oh, yeah, I'm deleting all of those videos, by the way, but please. Which one? The fucking Medieval 2 Total War videos. Oh, from... From, sorry, like, two wait. months ago. On Artifactual? No, on my channel. Oh, my bad. Is there a way you can just mass delete your own videos? Yes, you can checkbox them in the video manager. Video? Okay, thank you. Oh, they, like, changed the fucking layout of everything on YouTube. You can change it back, I think. And yeah, all of a sudden I opened a YouTube video and I was like, Hi, um... We, we're trying to look sleek now, but we've kind of screwed up the locations of everything to make it unintuitive. Wait, what's your... We should... Do you want to advertise your channel? Do you want to advertise my channel? Well, there's, there's no longer any videos on it now, so... Oh, never mind then. <laughs> Can't find my channel anyway, son. My, my channel is Rocky Stone. If anyone wants to oh, I have one subscriber and it's just because of some dude I met on Xbox felt that. Wait, how do you spell that? R O C K Z X G F Y Z A D E S T O L N E. Yeah, it's something like that. Sweet. How <laughs> much? For the joy of the Lord. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I got a screenshot. This is it. We're gonna strain off the idea of a podcast, but um, no, this is just, I came across. This is just us listen. talking about memes at this point. And, we can and, and as I said, I don't think anyone's been watching since like past the five minute mark. Look, man, we gotta be confident that people are listening. I, right. I am, I am so confident. Like it's, it's one of our first episodes. You can't have high expectations. No, I expect to like have more subscribers than PewDiePie by the end of the week. That's that's not my channel. That's that's a high if you, expectation. If you bro. Google Rocky Stone, it says for the joy of the Lord. That sounds like something I would say, but it's not me. Like the, like the, ow, fuck. You good? Sorry, I'm playing with a bayonet right now. Why? <laughs> oh, I, oh, well, no, 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 I'm not, I don't Adrian, have- Adrian, what's wrong? I got, I got stabbed with a bayonet. Why? No. I, I thought it wouldn't penetrate my chest. Alright, alright, well, first of all, it's like hardly a bayonet. It's a English needle bayonet from World War II, because they, the English didn't really use bayonets in World War II. <laughs> And, 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 I, I have it in the scabbard. I'm being a safe guy. It's just that the, <laughs> the part where you would put it on the gun is really greasy, and I stuck my pinky in it and felt really grossed out. That's why I went, like, ow. Ew. Ow. Alright. But, I usually play with my machete, so. Yeah, you know, walk around, chop some trees, maybe some heads, you know, some branches. Wait, what? Well, no, I just kind of, like, like, if I'm, like, watching a video or, like, just talking, I'm just gonna, like... Like, I collect this sort of shit, so I'll just, like, be fidgeting with it. Anyways, um, no one wants to hear about this. <laughs> I'll cut it out. Literally, I'm sorry. literally no one cares. Min, min 30, yeah, that's true. Alright, so our, our first episode was, like, 14 minutes long, and we're well past that point. So do you want to... We're at 30 minutes, almost 31. Yeah. So do you want to like make call it a day? Yeah, yeah sure. All right then. Um, thank you everybody for listening. We appreciate you uh, sticking around. Hey, Pass on hey, remember the Artifactual Podcast to your friends if you're listening on YouTube. Five subscribers cool. by the end of the year, and you'll get to see my greasy ass face with my neck beard. Dude, let's make that a goal. Five subscribers by the end of 2017. Oh shit, I I'm not sure we can do it. I think we can. <laughs> I'll honestly be surprised. <laughs> you know, see you. Me too, right? See you in another three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we should at least try it weekly. Dude, <laughs> fuck off! No.
Why not? This you're not even oh. you're just talking and sending me the file. What are you worried about? It's it's a lot of work. I have to I make the thumbnails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Good for you. <laughs> Fine, whatever. We'll see you in a month and a half. Yeah. All right. All right. Bye everyone. Have a good one everyone. Stay stay artifactual. That's not a word. Shut up. <laughs>